Good morning, afternoon, or evening to all of you. My name is Bricky Orchidate, and I'm here to present to you the guide to the most badass weapon in CSGO, the Dual Berettas, or better known as the Duallys. The Dual Berettas are a combination of two 15-round 9mm pistols held together Max Payne style as a single weapon. They have been seen in various films such as every action movie ever and are the prime weapon of our lord and savior, the Pringles crunching god Nip Nip. They were also subject to weapon buff in the most recent CSGO patch which I think makes just about everybody a little bit happier on the inside. So let us go over the statistics of the dual Berettas. The damage is why does it matter, the recoil is no spray pattern whatsoever, the fire rate is just right, the movement speed is get right, the reload is you might as well swap to your knife, the magazine is a good 34C, and the cost is $500. The Dual Berettas are the most badass gun in the history of badass guns. You take two pistols, guns that should never be fired one-handed like they are, and you start running around the map through IV like a speed demon. Then you just lay waste to all enemies in your path because you're a fucking legend, but also because you're an all-around badass thanks to the fact that you're dual-wielding fucking 9mm pistols. The best time to buy the Duallys is always, and if I ever see any player on my team sticking with the starter pistol, I will fork over the cash to buy them the Duallys. Because we all know only badasses win games, and they sometimes need a little pick-me-up. The Duallys have some pretty good looking skins, but none of them are badass enough to be anything higher than a purple rank. Not like it matters however, because the Dual Beretta's Cobalt Quartz are the only ones worth anything if they are souvenirs, so yeah, just go buy that. In my honest opinion, it is quite nice to see the Duallys get a buff they have been needed for quite a while. They still don't perform as well as something like the Tech 9 or the 5.7, but close quarters they are at least a viable option now. They are undoubtedly a very fun gun to use, and definitely reward good crosshair placement and recoil memorization, which I have neither of. To be real though, they are a damn fun time, and can be very effective with enough practice, which I plan to have in spades. Alright everyone, thank you very much for watching my Dual Berettas Guide. If this guide got you to Global Elite, go ahead and like and subscribe, and if you have a suggestion for the next gun, go ahead and comment on what you would want it to be. Until next time, my name has been Bricky Orchid 8, and always remember...